In this lesson, we are going to learn about configuring client connectivity to Microsoft 365. So the Microsoft Outlook includes an auto discover feature that automatically configures Outlook to connect to Exchange Online without the need to manually configure user connection settings. So depending on their configuration, Outlook users receive their required connection settings from either Exchange Online or Exchange Server on-prem the first time they sign in with their email address and password. So the process works like this. When an Outlook user enters their email and password, based on the email address, information and auto-discover record on the internet-located DNS, the client locates the auto-discover service in Microsoft 365. Then the client provides his SMTP address and password to authenticate with the auto-discover service. Then Microsoft 365 provides a connection settings in an XML configuration and Outlook connects to Exchange Online in Microsoft 365. The Outlook and other Office related clients can use auto discover process to automatically locate services in Microsoft 365. So for an organization to use auto discover in this manner, it must first configure the appropriate DNS records on the publicly available DNS servers on the internet. So we learned in the last lesson how to create custom domain and then we discussed about the provider. So you go to the provider's internet page and you will add the DNS record or appropriate DNS record to make this possible. So this is a table which helps you identify the auto discover records that Outlook clients need to connect to Exchange Online in Microsoft 365. So we have to go and add the CNAME records and the values are provided here. You can very well find this information in the Microsoft documentation. This is an example diagram which shows the domain suffix of the user email address is resolved against DNS and redirected to Exchange Online, which then delivers the correct autodiscover.xml file back to the Outlook client, which contain all configuration information. So what are the things you need to know before configuring the Outlook clients? When Outlook user connect to Microsoft 365, they must provide their Microsoft 365 email address and password when they start Outlook for the first time. The auto discover functionality in Microsoft 365 automatically configures Outlook for use with Microsoft 365. So this is a graphic which shows the encapsulation of MAPI commands in RPC calls. The next step is to configure Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication to these accounts or your domain. After you configure the MFA for a user account, at the next sign-in attempt, the user is prompted to set up the authentication by selecting one of these options. They can either use an office phone, mobile app or a mobile phone. Office phone requires the specification of the office phone entry in the user accounts info in Azure AD. So this is where the administrator must pre-configure this entry. So the user can't modify or provide the entry at the verification time. The next is mobile app. This requires the user to have a smartphone on which they must install and configure the mobile phone app. The third is the mobile phone. This requires the user to provide mobile phone number. The verification can be in the form of phone call or a text message. We will go and learn about multi-factor authentication later in the lesson. Let's look into troubleshooting any sort of client connectivity. To troubleshoot any sort of client connectivity issues, Microsoft have some of these tools available for you to have a look. Microsoft Message Analyzer is an effective tool for troubleshooting network issues. Message Analyzer captures, displays and analyzes protocol-based messaging traffic and system messages. An analyzer also lets you import, aggregate and analyze data from log and trace files. The next one is SARA or Microsoft 365 Support and Recovery Assistant Tool. This is a diagnostic tool that let users run tests to resolve many different problems. These problems include Outlook installation and activation issues and issues that occur when you make a network connection in Microsoft Dynamics 365 or OneDrive for Business. The next one is the RCA tool. 
You can use this tool to identify connectivity issues between email clients and organizations exchange server, identify connectivity issues between email clients and Microsoft 365, and troubleshoot exchange server and Microsoft 365 deployments and to identify common problems. That concludes this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about how to use fast track and partner services to support Microsoft 365. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.